Hi there, I'm Logan Medish, and this is High Caliber History. I'm at Lewis and Grant Auctions looking at some of the fine firearms coming up in their May 2021 Arms and Armor sale, and this is by far the coolest gun that I have come across in the sale. Before there was Winchester, there was Henry, but it wasn't an abrupt jump from one to the other. Instead, there was a lot of refinement, reworking, and new patents to go from the Henry to the Winchester Model 1866. This gun in my hands, known as the Presentation Briggs Patent Winchester Carbine, is the stepping off point for the two rifles, and it'll cross the auction block in May 2021. For the advanced Winchester collector or a museum collection, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to own what you can kind of consider to be the missing link between Henry and Winchester. Both George Briggs and Nelson King patented improved loading mechanisms for the Henry rifle and assigned them to Oliver Winchester. Briggs's design had a sliding magazine tube that moved forward just enough to allow cartridges to be loaded into it from the front of the receiver. There are only seven known prototypes of the Briggs patent, and they differ from one another slightly, but they've all got one thing in common. They're unadorned. The seventh prototype, this one, is beautifully engraved, and with good reason. It was presented to George Briggs by Oliver Winchester himself. The gun then went through the family, uh, the Briggs family, to their descendants. In 1950, one of Briggs's nephews, Elmer, wrote to Thomas Hall, the curator of the Winchester Gun Museum, which became the Cody Firearms Museum. Hall confirmed the exceptional nature of the gun, telling Elmer, quote, what you have is not a true Henry or Winchester Model 1866. Chambered in 44 rimfire with a 21 inch round barrel and magazine, the engraved brass frame was likely done by a man named Hogson or Hodgson. The spellings vary. And he's known to have done some of the very best engravings on Henry rifles. Experimental, prototype, fully finished and decorated Winchesters are among all of the rarest different types of Winchesters, and this carbine represents the finest and rarest Winchester prototype carbine of all time, and is comparable to the engraved Smith & Wesson prototype carbine that sold in 2020 for more than 480,000. There are at least two examples of the Smith & Wesson, but there's only this one Briggs patent engraved carbine. Quite simply, this carbine has no equal in terms of importance in the arms collecting community. This is the link between Winchester and Henry. You don't go from Henry to Winchester without the Briggs design. Of course, Nelson King and his design is far more known today because that is ultimately the design that Oliver Winchester chose to go with to create what is known as the Model 1866 but Briggs's design was the other big contender. These two designs were on Oliver Winchester's desk and the decision was up to him. And ultimately he chose Nelson King's design, but we very well could have easily come across with having this being known as the Winchester 1866. It was a 50-50 chance for Briggs's design to have been chosen. And Oliver Winchester obviously knew uh, what a big deal this was for him to have had this prototype rifle engraved and then present it back to the inventor of the system. It's just an exceptional piece of American arms history and something that you will not find anywhere else. And again, this will cross the block in the May 2021 arms and armor sale at Lewis and Grant auctions. This is truly American arms history in my hands does not get any better than this. Thanks for tuning into this episode of High Caliber History. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you right here on the next episode.